So let's practice some looping. If you go to the VBA Master Guide and go all the way over to the Guessing Game tab, then we'll be together here. Also, open up your VBA environment and make sure you're on Module 1. If you don't have a module there for some reason, just go to Insert Module. All right, I'm going to close this window so we have a little bit more space, and let's get started. We want to make a guessing game, which requires some loops. What do we want the game to do? Let's say we pseudocode this. Sub guessing game. We want to dim some variables, obviously. Um, and then we want the system to generate a number. See, system generate random number between 1 and 10. We'll make it easy. 1 and 10. And then we need to let the user guess. Let user guess number how many times? How about 5 times? If, uh, let's see, if correct, then display congratulations. If incorrect then give hint and increment uh, the counter because we, we only want them to do it five times increment turns there we go and that'll do I think something pretty simple so what variables might we need well we need to dim uh, the guess I spelled that wrong guess as integer and we need to dim the number as integer and dim turns as integer. Anything else? Um, we could create a message if we wanted. Uh, we'll see if we want to do that as we go. So, system needs to generate a random number. Let's do that. The number equals uh, worksheet function. This is probably the easiest way to do it. In fact, you need application.worksheet function. Application.worksheet function and then dot rand between and we'll do 1 to 10 there we go so what it's going to do is it's going to pick some integer between 1 and 10 including 1 and 10 now we need to let the user guess up to five times to do that we need to start a loop so do until turns equals five or we could do do while turns is a less than or equal to five because they can have up to five turns um, let's just do that okay loop now if they guess correctly then we display congrats if incorrectly then we give them a hint okay oops uh, there we go comment that out so let's get this going. So if correct, how do we know if it's correct? Well, we need to prompt them for a guess. So let's do this. Um, the num the guess equals input box. You've learned about those. What input? I'm guess I'm thinking thinking of a number between one and ten. guess me something like that okay so that's going to put some value in the guess whatever value the user enters and hopefully they enter an integer we won't worry about error checking at this point um, and now if if the guess equals the number then and if well, then what let's uh, let's create a message so uh, message equals yay you did it in and turns and exclamation point cool so what that'll do is it'll take however whatever number is in turns which right now is zero we haven't really set it so what we need to do is uh, every time we generate a new number set turns equal to uh, zero and then every time the user enters a guess turns equals turns plus one we're going to increment that so in this case turns equals one if they got it on the first try so there we go there's that 
else if the guess oop, the guess is greater than the number then else and uh, we'll take care of that in a minute so if it's equal to the number then we congratulate them if it's greater than the number then we're going to say something like message equals um, let's see too high else message equals too low I'm just going to copy this else message equals too low and then we need to display the message so mess, uh, message box msg box message cool so we generate some message based based on whether the guess correctly or too high or too low and then we display that message and if they got it correct we need to be done so we don't want to loop again so uh, what we might need to do here is uh, create another see message equals yay and we'll say um, if you know we'll say uh, one we won he won she won they won Ooh, they won equals true uh, they one's got to be a boolean up here dim they won as boolean okay and we'll set boolean to we'll set that to be false uh, at the beginning here they won equals false there we go okay so they'll come through here they won as false until they hit error then it's true and then before we loop um let me get rid of this before they loop, we're going to see if they won equals true, then exit loop. End loop? Oh, it's do. Exit do. Ha! There we go. All right. Let's see if this works. This would be cool if it does. So we're going to um, assign this button a macro. The macro is over here in this workbook called guessing game hit okay okay hit it oh variable not defined message message do we not oh we didn't ha huh. dim message as string there we go you probably caught that and you were like James you're forgetting something okay let's try this again play nothing happened probably because it's still in break mode okay we'll try again play Haha, <laughs> I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Let's see, how about 5? That's the most logical answer. Too low. So, ooh, okay. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Uh, 8. Too low. 9. Too low. Wow, I sure hope it's 10. You did it! In 4. Oops, we need to make it 4 turns. Hit OK, and it ends. Cool, that worked. Uh, we'll just round it out uh, up here. You did it in um, space turns. Cool, and that should do it. Nice. Well, there's a simple loop, simple-ish loop. Do while. Uh, some condition applies. Now, let's uh, make sure that works. We're going to play this one more time and see how many turns... Let's see, uh, I'm guess five, 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 five. Oh, and it ended. Cool. So that worked. I guess five, five times. Um, we should probably display some sort of message here. Uh, let's see. Turns equals turns plus one. And up here, do do do. Um, if turns equals five, then say then um, message box. Sorry, too many guesses. Something like that. Okay, let's see if that works. Last time, play. Uh, one enter. One enter. One enter. One enter. One enter. One enter, and it didn't work. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> um, maybe it's because it's greater than five. If turns is greater than five, there we go. Sorry, one more try. One, enter two, two three, four, five, six. Sorry, too many guesses. Cool, pretty good. Well, that just about does it. So, there is your first guessing game, your first game that you've programmed, hopefully, maybe, possibly, and um, a demonstration of loops.